Okay, guys. Welcome. Hello. Everybody, welcome. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? Good, good. We have a lot of people in here, so we're trying to keep uh keep our voices projected to the back so you can hear us. Hopefully, uh, you guys can hear us pretty well. Uh, that's how it goes. So. Hi guys, uh, I want to welcome you guys to uh, today's session, um, how to find employment opportunities. Uh, we are super happy that you are finally here. I hope you all had a good flight and I hope you arrived safely. Um, to my person, my name is Joe Peters. I'm an international student advisor at ISEO. And yeah, and I'm here to introduce those guys and to welcome you. Uh, a little background to myself. I was born and raised in Germany, so English is not my first language. And yeah, I came here years ago. Um, but yeah, I, I faced the same situation like you guys, new country, new language, new culture. So I can understand what you're facing now. So um, I'm so happy that I'll be able to help you guys um, as an international student advisor at ISEO. And I also wanted to uh, talk to our Zoom participants because we have a few people joining on Zoom because this is a very popular session. Um, so you guys on Zoom, you can hear us, but not talk to us. And a few housekeeping things. Um, we'll be recording this session, so you can look back at the session later on. We'll post it somewhere. Um, Grace Fuller is also uh, in the Zoom session. She'll be answering um, a few questions that are coming in through Zoom. If we can't answer all the questions, also for you guys, you can always contact us at icontact.ucsd. Um, dot edu. And then at the end, we have a survey. Uh, we'll post the QR code. Um, please complete the survey because if you complete it, you'll be entered to a giveaway. We'll um, raffle off a few Zoom, uh, Amazon uh, gift cards. So yeah, please get ready for the survey later. And now with that, I'll hand it over to the associate directors, Jessica Wilson and Jose Pinal, and they'll take me from you. Hello everybody, welcome to the Career Center. My name is Josue, I'm the uh, associate director for undergrad international career advising. Um, Hi, I'm Jessica Wilson, and I'm the associate director for master's uh, advising. Both international and domestic students. I bet some of you, it's good to see you and welcome to UC San Diego. Well, show of hands, how many of you guys are master's students? All right, <laughs> and the rest, yeah. undergrad, raise your hand, how many undergrad? All right, cool, some representation. Okay, good, very good, very good. Well, welcome. Today we're gonna talk about uh, kind of who we are as a career center, what we do, um, how to kind of start the basics of your job search, how to make appoint appointments with us, um, kind of just, um, kind of show you guys the, the support that we offer here. So we'll go ahead and sit down. Oh, cool. Yes. All right, cool. So I'm gonna take a seat. All right, so this is our career center team. This is uh, uh, this is us, right? So there are four main uh groups that uh of advisement there's non STEM, which is uh the first row, there's STEM, second row, and then pre grad, graduate, pre med, pre health at the bottom. Just because, for example, uh, my my colleague, Mike Stromer advises just the colleges doesn't mean he can't meet with any of you, right? We're all available to meet with you. We're all available to help. But if you want specific help, let's say in engineering or social sciences, right? It might be best to, to meet with one of those advisors to get that direct support um, for what you're looking for. Um, the best way to make an appointment with us at the Career Center is going to be through Handshake. Um, is going to be under Career Center, under Advising, and you can pick um what type of advising you're looking for right in a second i'll show you guys everything that we have to offer but um for now this is this is our team so first yeah um raise your hand if you're jacob school of engineering 
Raise your hand if you're computer science. Raise your hand if you know who Wendy Yamamoto is. <laughs> More of you. Okay, so if you are at computer science and engineering, if you are at Brady School of Management, if you're at School of Global Policy and Strategy, if you're at data science, HDSI, right? You have your own career advisor within your department. So we work collaboratively with Wendy, with HDSI, with Brady, with GPS together. These are two resources. You don't just go to one, you work with both of us, okay? So if you are at Jacobs School, you will have a different portal than Handshake to search internships and jobs specific for corporate affiliates from that program. You might have a different system, but it doesn't mean you should pick one. You should be using both. Okay. So ask your career advisors and ask us as well. Thank you. Thank you. All right. You want to talk about, sir? Yeah. So we have graduate peer educators at the Career Center who do drop in advising. So say you can't get an appointment with me because I'm booked out or with Josue because he's booked out. One thing you can do is go to drop in advising. These are held virtually. How many of you have attended drop in advising already? Raise your hand. Okay, so you've met her already, right? Two hours via Zoom, she's available. So if you have a resume question, cover letter question, events question, internship question, interview question, you can log into Zoom. This is also on Handshake. It happens every week. Uh, she does them on Fridays from nine to 11. Uh, for grad students uh, this coming fall it's going to be 9 to 11 I know it says 12 to 2 it's going to be 9 to 11 next week um, we also have undergraduate drop-in advising that's going to start in the fall so if you're an undergrad we have 10 career peer educators who can meet with you here in person okay you can come in person otherwise we as advisors are not doing on the spot drop-in advising you would need to schedule an appointment via handshake yeah. The first few weeks is going to be very busy for us, right? Uh, we have a lot of um, appointment requests. So if you can't get to, to us directly at the beginning, meet with the peer advisors first. Yes. Um, that'd be a good stop to give you guys kind of like the, you know, um, a good foundation of what you guys should be doing. Yep. And then once we start opening up, you guys start meeting with us. Um, but yeah, the first few weeks just expect a very limited availability. Um, okay. So now the, the good stuff, right? So this is what we offer uh, here at the Career Center, right? The number one thing, right, that we've talked about a lot is consulting, career consulting, right? So um, you guys can make one-on-one -on -one appointments with us, usually about 30 minutes, right, um, per appointment. Um, and we can talk about anything from resume writing to interviewing to uh, salary negotiation. Um, sometimes students get confused and they make appointments with myself and Jessica and talk, ask questions about like uh, CPT, OPT. Um, we can advise on that, right? We can kind of give you guys some, some resources, but we usually kind of refer you guys back to the to the experts, right, um, the SEO office. So. We're happy to kind of give you guys a little bit of info, kind of some resources, but for any anything more visa related, I, I recommend talking to this office. Um, one thing that's really cool, right? Virtual and in-person career fair. So we're coming up on uh, in less than a month. We have a, a in-person career fair over at Lion Tree Arena. Um, so hopefully you guys can sign up and can make it out for there. Uh, but we host these every quarter, um, so you get to meet employers, network, right? See what opportunities are out there for internships and careers. Um, and one thing for career fairs, right? A lot of students go in expecting to come out with a job, right? But there's so much more that you can do at a career fair, right? You can network with uh, students. You could uh, grow your professional network, right? So don't kind of go in there with just one expectation, right? Go in there kind of with an open mind and see who you can learn, who you can network with, opportunities out there you can pick out, right? Um, along with uh, kind of the career consulting, we do a lot of professional development. Um, so we have events uh, like today, right? Workshops where you can learn about resume writing, um job and internship search um all that good stuff right and those are sometimes really beneficial to come to because um like number four says right they're held by sometimes employers right so employer information sessions um where they hold uh, virtual or in-person forums to keep students informed about what opportunities are coming up with their company um and you can ask them questions one-on-one -on -one and get their advice uh, with, with certain aspects of, of the job search depending on what they're talking about that day you can ask them questions for example, we had open AI do, do a train the trainer uh, position, which paid $100 an hour. There were over 100 students who came, 50 who applied, and 35 students from our campus who got the position. So that's a pretty high rate. Um, it's competitive, obviously, but that was all virtual, all virtual. It wasn't here in person. So we're doing both at all times. 
So ask your career advisor, what employers are you currently working with? Any in my field, when is it happening? Is it in-person or virtual, right? And, and let them know what your interests are, what your companies are, so we can keep the conversation going. Yes. Yep, it was posted on Handshake. Yeah, all the events, everything that we everything have going on. on is, 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 yeah, yeah. We'll show you guys. Everything. And we email campus partners too. So your respective departments, graduate departments, graduate coordinators, they will they will often forward emails that we send to them. They should be forwarding emails. <laughs> um, and just like OpenAI, right, we'll have on-campus interviewing or virtual interviews, uh, which is also really handy, right? Sometimes you'll have, an employee will have an info session in that same day or the next day. We'll invite students to kind of sit down and have an interview with them, which leads to different opportunities. Um, and online resources, we'll talk about those, but we have a wide range of kind of articles, resources, videos, websites um, that you guys can use um, and access pretty much anytime. Which leads me to this. Uh, handshake, right? How many of you guys are familiar with Handshake? Just show your hand. All right, good. Handshake should be your best friend, right? Especially when we're working with the Career Center. Um, here, like we just mentioned, right? You can find workshops, panel discussions, the job board, recruiting events, um, make appointments at the Career Center, right? And look up any virtual resources. Um, next is Parker Dewey. How many of you guys have heard of Parker Dewey before? Okay, yeah. So Parker Dewey is a great website to do what's called uh, micro internships, right? So essentially, project-based internships. It can be anywhere from three weeks to three months, right? But you get paid for these projects. Um, and one cool thing is that they're open to OPT and CPT. So it's a really good opportunity, right? If maybe you don't have uh, not so much time over the summer to get an internship, you can apply for one of these micro internships and do them, do them during the quarter if you have some time, right? Um, so it's a lot, little bit more flexible. Um, what can I do with this major? This is a website that I uh, refer students to quite a bit. Um, sometimes, for the, a lot of times, actually, I get students who, who come to me and say that they don't know what to do with their major, right, or they don't know what to do uh, as a career. So we kind of start them off with this page here. Um, it'll give you a list of kind of majors and careers that go hand in hand um, and give you career options um, and, and fields that are typically associated uh, with, your, with what you're studying. Uh, first hand is kind of like a uh, career guide with 120 different careers that you guys can Explorer that articles um, kind of gives you like a day in the life of, of someone in that position, um, which is handy to, as well. Going global, we'll talk about a little more in a second, but this is a really good resource for uh, if you're looking to study abroad, maybe and look for opportunities outside of the U.S. Use this website, but they also have a um, H1B uh, sponsorship database that you can look at as well. Um, and I'll show you guys how to access that. And then big interviews is one that I, I really like as well, right? Even if you're not interviewing actively, it's always good to be prepared, right? So practice and prepare as best as you can. This is a really good uh, website to, to do that. Um, you do like mock interviews, practice answering questions, um, question roulette where you answer random questions. Um, but these are all really, really good resources that you guys should be taking advantage of um, starting, starting now. Okay, cool. So Handshake, we talked a lot about it, right? Um, but... One thing that I want to focus on is how to search for jobs or internships as an international student through Handshake using some filters, right? So when you log into Handshake, it should look something like this. And I apologize, it's kind of small, but um, what you want to do is you want to click on jobs. Once you open up the job section, it's going to look like this. How many of you guys have seen this page or already kind of explored this already? Okay, good. Very good. Good. So once you guys are in here, right, what I want you to do is go to all filters up the top corner. Once you guys click on that, it's going to open up these filters, right? If you scroll to the very, very bottom, just like it shows here, it's gonna show you this work authorization filter tab, right? So if you're looking for jobs or internships, right, that are open to CPT and or OPT, it's gonna be the bottom tab, uh, the bottom box you're gonna check off, right? If you're just looking for jobs that are for specifically just to be sponsored, right, it's gonna be the middle tab. And the, the top tab is one is for um, jobs that don't require US authorization, right? So you can kind of pick and choose which, which jobs that you are interested in, um, and the jobs will filter by there, right? So um, some companies under the job posting will say open to OPT, open to CPT, open to sponsorship, um, but this is just a faster way to get those all in one spot. We talked about going global, right? This is a good resource to look for positions outside of the US, but also it has uh, H1B OPT tab on the top. Once you click on there, it's gonna, it's gonna be a drop down. I couldn't get a screenshot of it, but you're gonna click on OPT employers. And it's going to pull up about 23 to 25 pages of the top OPT employers in the U.S., right? Um, so you can look at jobs on their job board, or you can search for their H-1B listings as well. 
All right, so this is a really good resource. The only thing I don't like about this is you can't filter it, right? You kind of have to go page by page. Um, it's alphabetical, so it kind of takes a little bit, right? Um, but it's another really good resource that, that we have here. Um, so I recommend using using both of these as best as you can. Um, and then, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so um, some additional resources. How many of you have seen our Triton Career Guide? Woo, two, all right. <laughs> uh, great, so we have a resume template on our website. These are all, all on our website. Um, so we uh, the guide is about 27 pages. It has a cover letter template, the resume template, and other tips and tools, right? What's a pitch when you're introducing yourself to companies? It's all on our website. It's also on uh, resources on Handshake, so you can access that as well. Um, but if you don't have a template for your resume, which I assume most of you do, this is a good way to get started, download it, um, and, and start uploading your materials. Um, next thing. So we do have a YouTube link um, of a lot of our content. Um, so I would check that out, um, as well as our Instagram. If you don't follow our Instagram, follow us today. We post a lot of our events on there. Um, yeah, and we have other digital content and resources. Okay, so this is probably one of the tools you're most curious about is our employer information spreadsheet for international students. So this is on ISEO, the International Services and Engagement Office on their webpage. If you go to how to find internationally friendly employers, it's divided up by all the different fields and sections. You can see who is sponsoring H1B, OPT, CPT, and how many alumni from our campus in the past. Okay, it's a really good tool. Um, come to us if you have issues finding it, but it's on ISEO's page, how to find internationally friendly employers. So this would be a good start, right? Looking on Handshake, doing the, the filtering, looking on here, filtering for the companies and your respective fields and then start identifying those alumni that are currently working in industry, in addition to all your other connections. You'll notice that not any one of these resources is going to give you all the answers or is going to get you the job. It's all of them in total are going to help you get closer, okay? There is not one resource um, to do that. <laughs> um, another resource that is on ISEO's page, oh, you have a question, yeah. We'll get to that. Connecting with alumni. Yes, hold that question. We will get there. Good one. Yeah. Um, so resources to ex uh, explain sponsorship. Josue has shared there's a few really good links um, on the, a company called Innerstride um, that really help with explaining sponsorship um, and asking an employer for sponsorship. When will you need it? At what point? Um, we also have other links from universities to explain when and how you're going to need sponsorship. Um, so these are also linked on ISEO's webpage as well. Um, will you now or in the future, right, require sponsorship between the CPT and OPT and at what point, right? Um, so we have those resources digitally for you guys. Okay, so um, fun tools regarding alumni. How many of you have heard of Triton's Connect? Okay, now all of you have heard. <laughs> Triton's Connect is only for UC San Diego alumni. So you're not going to get UCLA, UC Santa Cruz or any other campus. And it's specific for alums who want to help mentor current students, specifically in your respective areas for employment, okay? So I would sign up today for this. We have a lot of different events and programs. One event is Take a Triton to Work where companies for a week will take you into their meetings, show you what their office is like virtually or in person. Um, and it's also a good way to look through the directory to see, okay, who's from my respective field is an international student uh, prior, right? Sometimes it has their Gmails or their AOLs if they're super old, um, right? It actually has their personal contact information. So not just their UCSD email, but like, how do you get in touch with them, which is not public facing data if you go to Apple's website, right? 
Um, so there's a lot of hidden nuggets on here of people who are pretty well established and esteemed who want to help you get your foot in the door. You just have to ask. You have to send messages. You have to do your homework searching. Okay, questions about Triton's Connect? Not yet, okay. Do you wanna show? Oh, wait, Kishore has a question. You can ask it. <laughs> As a oh, friendly reminder on our webinars, um, they can't unmute themselves, but they are welcome to submit a question via our Q&A feature on the Zoom menu bar. Okay, thanks, Grace. Okay. Um, do you want to watch? Yeah. Cool. So this is uh, Trends Connect. When you guys log in, it's going to look very similar to this, right? <laughs> Excuse me. So you can see, like, upcoming events that people post here on the right. Um, down here, this is still being established, I think, but it's, like, people who are willing to help write the mentors aspect. There's going to be a feed right in the middle where people could post. Sometimes students ask uh, kind of the you know questions that they're looking for mentors or, or they're looking for advice, and then people can respond that way. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see more like job postings. You can see uh, groups that you can join, right? I think there's an international alumni group. So once you guys graduate, you can join that group. Uh, but what we want to focus on today is the mentoring tab, right? So on the left-hand side where the arrow is, you just click on that tab, and it'll open you up to this here, right? So um, you can find mentors by company here on the right, uh, mentors by industry, so like education, computer software, research, you can click in the middle, right, by job function, um, or you can search by the map, right? Uh, what I like to do is I go, I go to the bottom where it says search by job function, just because you can kind of be a little bit more direct with your search, and it'll take you to this page, right? So one thing, if you notice, all the people on the that are posted there have a little banner that says willing to help, right? So that means that they're making themselves available to help you guys. Um, and I use the filters here on the right in the red box. Um, if you guys want to, you guys can filter by international student down at the bottom. Um, right, international alum, if you want specific questions on how they navigated the visa process, right, or how they did the job search, um, you can filter by year, um, pretty much anything that you're looking for, right, for the filters. Um, then once you find somebody that you want to connect with, right, on the top right, they'll show you what they're willing to help with. So, uh, for example, Tina, she's saying she, she'll help with networking. Workplace insights and industry advice, and she's offering mentoring for career advice, resume review, and internship questions. Right, so these people are literally putting themselves out there to help you guys. Right, so not a lot of students take advantage of this, um, but mentorship and kind of professional networking is, a, is another big step in your job search. Right, um, it'll open up doors like references, referrals, recommendations to jobs. Right, so you guys should be doing this in supplement um, or to back up, I guess, your your job search as well. Right. Um, yeah. All right. So uh, LinkedIn, uh, here's a plug for uh, ISEO's LinkedIn group. Please join uh, the LinkedIn group. They post events that we have in conjunction together. For example, we bring in international alumni uh, who've gone through the CPT, OPT, H1B process and talk about how they did it. And so we have those, those sessions where they come on Zoom talk about their entire process. So you should join that group. That's where we're gonna uh, be post uh, posting about it as well as on the iEvents calendar page. Um, so definitely join this group. Um, and then um, upcoming events that we have. Um, so we have a Career Center open house um, coming up on September 24th from 10 to two. So this is a chance for you guys to get free giveaways, free swag, see the entire Career Center team. There's some music. Um, it's gonna be a really fun event and we'll share a little bit more about the resources that we have for you guys here. Um, so please come on over and stop by. It should be a really fun time. Um, as Josue mentioned, the three career fairs we have coming up, two of them are virtual and one is in person. So the one on October 10th, uh, from 10 to 4 p.m. over by the gym. And these are really awesome opportunities to practice, right? Uh, engaging with employers, getting some good contacts and following up. Um, I think one of them, we have over 100 employers coming, recruiting grad and undergrad students. So come on by and um, see, check it out. Um, and then for those of you wanting a deep dive on any one of the topics, once again, say that, you know, one of the advisors is really busy, 
Um, you can join. We have about six events for this fall quarter to help you get prepared for your career. Um, and these are done by our graduate and undergraduate peer educators. It's going to be here in this room and also on Zoom. So if you have questions about Career Center overview and the resources we provide, um, resume and cover letter drafting, as well as walking through a uh, handshake and how to utilize handshake. Um, networking and LinkedIn is a very big one. So how to do informational interviews, how to network. I think that's actually the biggest challenge for international and domestic students. Any student is networking, right? Um, you often think, oh, it's just my resume. It's not. Actually, the battle is all networking. How big is your network? Are you utilizing your network? Right. If so, how are you following up with those contacts? Right. So that's a really, really key one. And that's something all of us here at the Career Center emphasize is networking um, through all your contacts. So that's a good one. Job search strategies as well as you're applying to internships and your full time roles. We'll discuss how to create a strategy to to be successful and then interviewing. So how to prepare for an interview before, during and after. So those are some of the events. And then I think we will stop it there for questions. I guess we can go to the room first for questions. Any questions on kind of what we do to help with presentation? What else? Yes, I'm going to get another question. Try to start. So if you plug the engine, go to your side of the left hand side, then it should be a set of appointments. New appointments, yeah. And then they can see the same Yeah, so it's like undergraduate, graduate advising, then it's we'll say like. Resume, cover letter, who you doing, you'll take each other. But if you want to show you who's available for that one. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Uh, how many career advice sessions am I going to for students? As many as you want. Yeah. So you cannot schedule 15 sessions. It's uh, once you've completed the session, then you can schedule the next one. But you could meet with us 35, 40, 50 times. Right. There's no limit to how many times we meet with you. And in fact, I would say the students that we see be the most successful are the ones who come the most often. We expect to get goals right per week, right? So if you need to for a resume, yeah. we expect you to have that resume by the time you step, right? So we have to take those steps in order to kind of achieve what we're right? So that's kind of it's not homework, right? It's it is, but yeah, yeah, it is so you homework. You expect to kind of do a little bit of the work yourself. So. Well, Any other questions? For sure, online had a question. Oh, Kishore. Um, well, they pulled that question. I'll, I'll say you guys want to start your your journey with the career center as soon as you can, right? Um, don't wait until the month before you graduate, don't wait until the month after you graduate, right? It's a process, it takes time, it's not, you know, you're not gonna walk in and you know gonna have a job with you, right? So come in, meet with us, and start getting yourself uh you know personally and personally developed for, for the for the real world, right? Um but it takes time to do that repair. So make sure that you guys are starting your journeys earlier than rather than later. So when do you think it will be wise to start applying for jobs in January, February, or May? Uh if you think about uh one year MS program. One year MS program. Yeah. Now. Okay. What's what? your program? Product development and product management. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you come in with a lot of expertise. You have a great program because you have a capstone that's going to let you apply your knowledge in a like very professional, marketable way, yeah. which is great. But you want to get, um, I think the best of both worlds is get a professional mentor and a career advisor mentor, yeah. if you have both, and a faculty mentor. Mm -hmm. It is to have the best of all three worlds. Um, yeah. yeah. So start now, I okay. would say. The networking starts now. Yes. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. So, yeah, we're all going to relate to the visa process. We should ask you. 
what kind of problem? <laughs> he said if a problem related no, to like the visa process. Question about the <laughs> no problem? No, like question for the visa process. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, no problem. Joe's team. Yeah, yeah any yeah, any yeah. questions regarding on-campus employment or uh, off-campus employment, CPT or OPT? Yeah, you can come to our office. Okay. Yes. How can I find it? Uh, We're putting them on all the time. But handshake is the best place to look. Yeah. Handshake, you know, something like days, nines, yep. companies, yeah. Any employer information session is a networking event. Yeah. I hope that Grace was able to answer Kishore's uh, question oh, online. Yeah. So if there are no other questions here in this room, then I want to thank you, Jessica and Husui. And any other questions, yeah, you can um, contact them. You have the contacts. Um, so please stay in touch with them because, as they said, the more you come and um, you will be able to hopefully secure good jobs. And I want to conclude this portion of the presentation. And I just wanted to take some time to go over a few of our ISEO events. Um, uh, and also, I wanted to give you the QR code for the uh, survey. So on our website, you can also look for other events, not only uh, career related, um, social events. So you can go to iEvents.ucsd.edu. You can browse through the calendar by date. You can search for uh, keywords. Um, there are some events that are coming up, the bus tour, so you can check if there are still seats available, the student fan fest, where you can get free pizza, um, there are fun games, and what else? There's the international mixer at the Great Hall. I also want you to... Um, yeah, make your way of the graduate student social, the gap mixer. You guys, she's still speaking. And there are still coffee hours going on this uh, week. So the next one is on Wednesday at 10 and Friday from 8 to 9. And I see a lot of you guys with the name tag. So I'm assuming you went there. These are always great events to mingle, socialize, and make new friends. So I really encourage you to check out all the social events because you want to connect and that's really important. So final reminders, please uh, submit your check-in form in iPortal so we know you arrived to the US and we can register your CBIS record. Um, if you want to register for other events, you can go to iorientationucsd.com and any other questions you can submit online at icontact.ucsd.edu. This is the QR code for the survey. If you complete it, you'll get entered into a raffle. And yeah, please follow us uh, on Instagram at istudents.ucsd. And we also have um, accounts on Facebook and YouTube. Yes, YouTube. There are also some very helpful uh, videos uh, regarding employment as well.